Hello financial fans, had a down week as far as the value of my portfolio is concerned. And right now, as of this day, which is, uh, I guess this is 8-20, August 20th of uh, 2022, my portfolio is down for the year 2022, uh, year to date, my portfolio is down 8.9%. And the S&P 500 is down 9.47%. So the S&P 500 had a better week than I did, but it is still not doing as well year to date as I am. But both of us are not doing well enough to be bragging about it. And the um, stock that I bought this week, 817, August 17th, I purchased Goodyear Tire stock for $15.60. Six cents, I believe. Uh, let me take a look here. Filled price fifteen dollars six and a half cents per share is what I paid for Goodyear Tire, and I have uh, four stocks that uh, I think are looking a little bit oversold. Several stocks look uh, interesting, but BHP is uh, one that we'll look at right now. BHP Group Limited and the symbol BHP. The after hours trading price per share of $56.52 for BHP. We'll look at the column on the left, two thirds of the way down, 52 week range, $46.28 was the low and $71.06 was the high. So right now it's setting closer to the low than the high, but uh, it's got uh, plenty of headroom to move up. The volume on an average day for BHP, a little over 3,200,000 shares trading each day, and the experts consider BHP to be near fair value. These are Yahoo's pages I'm using, by the way. Yahoo has excellent pages for financial information. Third item down in the middle column, P.E. ratio, 7.11. Kind of lucky looking there, 7 Point one one is the P.E. ratio and we look a little further down for dividend and yield it's paying 12.33% right at this moment and uh, the one-year target estimate $72.90 which would certainly be a great uh, move upwards if it did happen to move upwards that would be a reason to consider it the uh, next stock is one we've had up here before and it's um, doing very poorly in the past uh, couple of years. I did manage to buy and sell it uh, I guess about a year ago, a year and a half ago and I made some money on it and it's looking oversold again. Intel, I-N-T-C is the symbol and that price $35.38 that is very, very low for Intel, and then it went down more after hours to $35.34. 52-week range, $34.40 was the low, so it's very near the low right now, and $56.28 was the high, and uh, Intel is due for some good news. We don't know when that'll happen. The average volume, look at that volume, 38 million shares trade on an average day and uh, Intel is considered to be near fair value. P.E. ratio, third item down, middle column, 7.5. That is very good. Will the chip makers come back in 2022 or 2023 even? Forward dividend and yield paying 4% right now, so that's a good uh, dividend. It's not enough to keep up with inflation, but at least it uh, is a check every now and then. And the one-year target estimate for Intel, $41.33. Uh, that should be an easy move for them, but we will have to wait and see. Next we look at J.P. Morgan Chase. J.P.M. is the symbol. The after hours price $118.45 per share and the 52 week range $106.06 to $172.96 so it's definitely closer to the low than to the high. Average volume a little over 12 million shares 12 and a half million 12 million 724,666 uh oh 
shares trade every day. It's considered to be near fair value. The P.E. ratio, third item down, middle column P.E. ratio, under 10, 9.76 for J.P. Morgan. And the one-year target estimate, $138.88. And that, again, would be a very nice move upwards. When is that upward movement going to come? And let's hope that it is soon. Next, we look at PBR. I do own this one. And um, I won't try to pronounce it. It's uh, oil. PBR. The after hours trading price $13.73 per share. 52 week range $9.20 to $16.30. So it's right there in the middle. The average volume 31 million shares trade every day. And the PE ratio can that be real? 2.87. Goodness worth looking at, worth considering, worth uh, studying. Forward dividend and yield, 50%. Well, stranger things have happened. Uh, One-year target estimate, $16.09, which would by itself be a reason to buy the stock. And I thank you for watching.